So welcome to this lecture. And in this lecture, I'm going to talk about uh, drag matrix approach. And drag introduced the concept of cat and drag actors. And for this, I followed the three books and quantum mechanics by Noreddin Jetli, Introduction to Quantum Mechanics by Liboff, and Quantum Physics for Dummies. So I have taken few examples for uh, Brian Cat notations from this book. So let us discuss, and this is a very interesting uh, mathematical formulation. So consider the equation as uh, I discussed in the earlier that psi can be written as a i phi i where i varies from 1 to n so this represents that psi is a vector in n dimensional space and where phi i is known as basis vectors and if Space is infinite dimensional. Then this equation can be written as i varies from zero to infinity, a i phi i. So what the rat did, he denoted the state vector. This is a state vector. So what the rat did, he represented the state vector phi by a symbol. And this symbol is known as cat. This is cat or cat vector. And we call this as cat psi. And another thing that this cat vector or the cat belongs to Hilbert space or cat space. In the similar manner, this phi i, this is also a basis vector and it's also a vector so that means this vector can also be represented in this form. So that means this wave function phi can be written as i varies from 0 to infinity, it is a i phi i or the cat phi i. And uh, in Hilbert space, definition of Hilbert space, I talk about dual space in the early, to early lectures. So, what Dirac did, Dirac denoted the Dirac denoted the elements of dual space by this symbol and he call it as a bra vector. So that means This is pronounced as Rasai. And what we are concluding that for every cat, there exists a unique bra.
So this idea was given by Drac. Right? Then there is bracket. This bracket or the product of bra and the cat, it's a drag notation. For scalar product, and but and this is the scalar product is denoted by this symbol, which means bracket. But if I go back to the books of mathematics. Or the definition of uh, Hilbert space in the early lecture. The scalar product is represented by phi psi, or in some books it is represented by like this. But in Dirac notation, this scalar product is represented by this one. This symbol, right? So all rep all represents the one and same thing, right? So all are the notations for scalar product. So, but uh, as Jack suggested in the development of quantum mechanics, this notation. So in Next lecture, I will represent scalar product with this notation, right? So let us understand uh, the concept of this uh, bra and the uh, cat vectors by taking some example. So let us discuss an example. To understand the concept of cat and bra factors, and here I am using the concept of probability in this example. I followed for this the book uh, by Stephen Holzner. The title of the book is Quantum Physics for Tummies. So in quantum mechanics, in quantum mechanics, probability play a very important role Let us take an example. An example of probability. Probability. So let us assume that we have two dice and thrown together, then what is the sum of the two dice? That is our observation. So if we throw two dice together, either sum will be 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Maximum sum will be 12. Then here let me talk about relative probability. Relative probability is basically it represents the number of possible ways to 
to get the particular total right so this is the relative probability so for two sum for to be two it is always one it is two it is three it is four it is five then six then five then four three two and one so these are the relative probabilities because here is the only possibility one plus one here one plus two or the two plus one right so here it is uh, sum will be sorry one plus one or the one plus one mm, sorry sum will be three okay right so when sum will be four it is one plus three two plus two or uh, three plus one similarly for five it is a uh, two plus three three plus two four plus one and one plus four and so on we can think in terms of this so these are the various possibilities now let me use the, this to write down the means uh, using the relative probability we can determine probability factor and this probability factor is represented by a cat factor so this cat factor can be written as this can be written as 1 upon 36 under the root 2 upon 36 under the root 3 upon 36 under the root 4 upon 36 under the root 5 upon 36 under the root 6 upon 36 under the root then 5 upon 36 under the root 4 over 36 under the root 3 over 36 under the root then 2 over 36 under the root and then 1 over 36 under the root so this is our cat vector or the probability vector and this simplifies to 1 upon 6 to 2 by 6 root 3 by 6 2 by 6 it is root 5 by 6 it is uh, root 6 by 6 root 5 by 6 2 by 6 root 3 by 6 root 2 upon 6 and 1 upon 6 right so this is our cat vector and this vector represents a a 11 dimensional eleven dimensional dice space the corresponding bra vector this is cat vector the corresponding bra vector is the high 
permission conjugate of cat vector so if it is so then it is represented as like this and it is 1 by 6 to 2 by 6 root 3 by 6 2 upon 6 root 5 by 6 root 6 upon 6 root 5 by 6 2 by 6 root 3 by 6 root 2 upon 6 and 1 by 6 So now let us find out the scalar product. Means uh, we have to calculate this scalar product, bra psi and the cat psi, and it can be written as one by six to two by six root three upon six two by six root five by six root six by six. Root five by six, and this two upon six. Root three upon six. Root two by six and one by six. And it is one by six. Root two by six. Root three by six. Root sorry, root three by six, and it is two by six. Root three by six. Sorry, not three, uh, but it is uh, root five by six. And uh, the root six by six. So root five by six. Two by six. Root three by six. Root two by six and one by six. Right. So that's what we are getting. And if I try to simplify it, then the result will be: this is one by thirty-six plus two by thirty-six plus three by thirty-six plus four by thirty-six plus five by thirty-six plus six by thirty-six plus five by thirty-six plus four over thirty-six. Plus three over thirty-six, plus two over thirty-six, plus one over thirty-six, and the resultant will be thirty-six. So thirty-six plus is equal to one. Thus, what I am concluding that this scalar product of psi with itself is nothing what is equal to one, and another. Thing which we have learned that that psi star psi, its integral is always unity from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is the normalization condition. So that means this is basically this uh, represents. That v function is normalized. That is, psi is set to be a is set to be normalized. Right. So this is a very interesting result which is emerging out uh, from bra and cat notation. Now, let us. do one more very beautiful example or discussion from above discussion it is clear that this bra and cat these both handle probabilities So let us define the operator. Operator, and 
here whatever operator is the ruling a dice so we call it as a ruling operator operator representing a ruling of dice and this operator which define the ruling of dice this operator stores the dice value and what are the dice value dice value represents the sum of two dice so sum is varying from 2 to 12 so that means this rolling operator is defined as a vector it's a rolling vector is represented as this is a 2 So, right, then another possibility is 3, then another possibility is coming 4 as a sum, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12, right. And just as a zero 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 So this is a ruling operator and it, it is represented by like this. So let us do one thing. It's a very interesting result will emerging out then. So it's psi r psi. And if I try to solve it, then this is a basically a row matrix and it is a square matrix and it is a column matrix. If I put their values, then the result which we are getting after doing a little algebra, a result will comes out to be seven. Right, so let me call it as equation number one. Now, what I will do, I will recall the definition of uh, average value or the expectation value as we have learned in statistics in the lower classes. So let us recall definition of average or expectation value very interesting results will come out from all this. So let x be a random variable with finite number of outcomes. With that is possible outcomes are x1, x2 and so on, xk and each outcome occurring with the probability p1, p2 and so on, pk. So this is a probability. Now expectation value of x 
is defined as let me represent it by this or sometimes it is represented by this or average in quantum mechanics we will use this so this expectation value is basically summation x i and phi i right so let us try to understand this concept using a certain example let us take example first example say we are having a dice one dice and it is thrown so possible outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the possible outcomes and each outcome has probability 1 by 6 so that means expectation value comes out to be it is i will use this formula so first come outcome is 1 multiplied by its probability second outcome and its probability third outcome its probability then next 4 into 1 by 6 and so on 5 and then 6 into 1 by 6 what was the result 1 by 6 2 by 6 plus 3 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 and 6 by 6 and their result will be 21 by 6 and resultant will be 3.5 this is a very simple example let us take another very interesting example now as i have taken earlier i have two dice thrown together their possible outcomes are there is a possibility of 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 these are the possible outcomes and probability or uh, yeah probability of each outcome its probability will will be 1 by 36 its probability will be 2 by 36 probability will be 3 by 36 its probability by 4 by 36 5 by 36 6 by 36 right and then 5 by 36 4 by 36 3 by 36 2 by 36 and 1 by 36 so these are the corresponding probabilities so say it is represents xi this represents pi let me form a table what is expected expectation value the expectation value will be this 2 into 1 by 36 3 into 2 by 36 plus 4 into 3 by 36 plus 5 into 4 by 36 Plus six into five by thirty-six plus seven into six by thirty-six plus eight into five by thirty-six plus nine into four by thirty-six plus ten into three by thirty-six plus eleven into plus eleven into two by thirty-six plus twelve into one by thirty-six, right? So when I did all these, then it is two fifty two by thirty six, and the result will be seven. So very interestingly, what I got, I got the result that uh, this expectation value 
earlier i would taken r i can take it as x or r and it is equal to psi r psi right or i have used i have used the formula summation p i x i i varies from 1 to 6 sorry not 1 to 6 but 1 to uh, yeah, 1 to 11 in our example and in every case i am getting it as 7 and if we try to convert this into a summation because probability if i write down it as xp summation and it is a function of this so in the form of integration i can write down it as like this right this is also probability so that means whether i will talk about this or i will talk about this then these two can be written as psi r psi in the earlier example and in this example i can express it as x p x d x but what is probability probability is basically as we know that it is psi star psi it's a probability so in terms of wave function i can express it as x psi star psi is a function of x and then x and then it is x and the dx it's integral all will represent so one and same thing so that means if i want to calculate the expectation value x then it is psi x psi in terms of integration it can be written in this form and our result always comes out to be 7 so that means this quantity will represent the expectation value of this operator so that means in general if we are having the operator a then its expectation value can be either written as like this or it can be expressed as psi star a psi dx in some books the expectation value can be written as like this And here it is a normalized wave function and its value will be 1, right? So uh, it's a very beautiful example to explain the expectation values uh, and how, uh, sorry, as we have seen from this lecture that how bra and cat notations are used to find out the uh, normalization conditions and are used to find out the expectation value of a operator. So that means they can be beautifully applied and the quantum mechanics uh, so thanks for watching this free video lecture and in the next lecture i will talk about uh, more algebra on bra and cat notation